Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Cantillon. I'm um, actually reshooting the video because I had an 8 minute version of this or almost 8 minute version of this review that I just didn't notice. A little bit too long, so post in the comments below what you think about that. Uh, I try to keep them a little bit short, but I guess this one ran a little bit, a little bit long, so reshooting it. So, um, Cantillon, first time reviewing for the channel. Um, they're traditional, uh, very, very traditional, old, old brewing techniques in Belgium and probably the most popular slash hyped uh, brewery of the wild slash sour beer um, category. People love Cantillon. So this is Cantillon Creek, which is brewed with cherries. I'll uh, post a link below also to Jean Van Roy's um, brewing techniques. He's a brewer, sort of the auteur of the brewery and very old and very interesting brew techniques. So 5% beer. It is a very hot summer evening, so uh, very excited to dig in this beer. So let's dig in. First off, as you, as you see, what an amazingly gorgeous beer. This deep, deep red color. It's like garnet. It's not really uh, uh, maroon, but it's a really dark ruby color. Um, almost looks like it's, uh, what kind of color is that? Looks like cherry juice, you know, as a fact. It just looks like cherry juice. And you have this really beautiful kind of pink head on that. Look at that. It's, it's pink. Um, just beautiful, beautiful beer. Let's get the rum on this. Ooh, wow, nice. It's also interesting re-reviewing a beer after, you know, just shooting a review and sort of re-evaluating uh, re your notes. I'm getting like um, cherry cotton candy. Yeah, there you go. I had not had the descriptor uh, before, but I have it now. Yeah, this kind of cherry cotton candy, funk quality. Uh, Kentio is famous for their funk, and this is a very funk, uh, not too funky, but a nice and funky beer. A little bit of wet hay, lots of minerality coming throughout. Um, cherry skins. A little bit of cherry juiciness. Again, the candy note is really cool. Cher <laughs> cherry cotton candy. I wouldn't have never guessed that. Uh, that's a descriptor I'd figure out. Very cool stuff. Cheers, guys. Mm. Mm. Yeah, awesome stuff. Wow, this is amazing. How <laughs> fantastic. Awesome. Just like the aroma, there's a big pop of minerality. It's actually more aggressive on the uh, palate. It's like wet stones. It's just a really intense minerality. It's a big smack up front. It's a theme throughout the beer. Not too much like um, uh, copper or like nickel or I guess like dimes and pennies. Not too, too much like that, but a good amount of minerality slash metallic leaning, that kind of flavor. Mm-hmm. Big smack of uh, funk up front as well. A little bit of like wet hay kind of quality. Not too intense like a, a horse blanket, which some people describe with uh, Cantillon's wild beers. Not too intense on the funk. Uh, you also get a nice pop of, again, this kind of cherry note. A um, little bit like jamminess, but it's a, it's a, I would say it's a very medium. It's not like these American some American breweries that are really pushing in a lot of fruit and making beer super jammy and intense, which I do like. But this one is a little bit more refined. I'd say medium, very good. Medium, medium plus. Um, cherry skins, a little bit of maraschino, a little bit of dark cherry. Really nice and dry on the back end. It has a lot of similar notes to something like a red wine. Again, that theme of minerality, a little bit of red fruit. Really nice and dry on the back end. A little bit of tannic structure to build up the beer and really keep the beer dry and interesting. Wonderful spritzy carbonation on this. Think of something like Sprite, like a really like freshly opened can of soda. A very bright carbonation on this. Just a clean, clean, gorgeous finish. Uh, by the way, you might, <laughs> I didn't mention, you might notice this is a different setting. Hopefully the sound and lighting is better here. I'll try to review more beers in the setting. Let me know uh, in the comments below. But yeah, what I love about this beer in general is just, it's refined. Uh, very like wonderful finesse on all the elements minerality carbonation uh, cherry flavor dry, oak drying tart qualities I need you mentioned the uh, tart qualities very nice and medium uh, it's not shredding like some of the American breweries again with full-on uh, sour quality and full-on fruit quality this is just very again it, it just tastes old and traditional it's just very simple and refined um, but obviously absolutely stellar 
Um, most recent beer that I reviewed like this was obviously something like Allagash's Matina Rose. Um, that beer, I probably like a little bit more, just the intensity is bumped up a little bit more, but I obviously respect this for its simple, amazing, uh, again, refined qualities. Um, I'm gonna give this beer a 96. Though, the Matina Rose got a 97 for me and I'm like, wanted to push it to a 97. Um, wow. This is, again, one of the best Cantillons in my mind. I've had a bunch of them, and this is one of the more accessible ones along with their Hlusa. Um, I highly recommend this one. This one's awesome. Let's go with a 96 plus. Um, absolutely amazing stuff. In the comments below, let me know uh, about length of videos, what do you guys prefer. Maybe I should post the original one that was really long. Uh, what do you think about the new setting? And what do you think about Cantillon? What is your favorite Cantillon? So until next time, guys, cheers. This beer is absolutely amazing. Uh, phenomenal. Later, guys.